every now and then I discover a golf product that really impresses me. And this bag is one of them. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I want to show you this bag. It's by October. It looks like GOG, but it's, it's October Golf Gear octobergolfgear.com and it's a golf bag and I wanted to find a golf bag that did one thing in particular for me and that is carry my beverages and I looked at a bunch of them I couldn't find any of them that would do that specifically but this one would do that and more so let's take a close look at it so this golf bag looks like any traditional golf bag and it's by a company called October Golf Gear and it's kind of funny because I stumbled on it while I was searching for a way to keep my drinks cool who doesn't go golfing with some beverages and lately I've just been carrying them separately kind of putting them in the cart itself and I thought you know why hasn't anyone put a beverage container into a golf bag now this golf bag doesn't actually have one so you're saying Pete are you crazy it just said that was really important to you but this golf bag has something more important it's completely modular and I'm going to show you some of those components which are right down here because I just ordered this and I've been trying out a little bit and I absolutely love it first of all this is kind of their travel kit golf bag they also have a larger golf bag and it's kind of more of a traditional style but what makes this golf bag really impressive is the fact that it has this little panel right here and it has these pockets which are attached via velcro and these little hooks that they call j hooks so you put the little hook inside of these little slots and then it sticks via velcro and what that does is it makes it completely modular i can get different types of bags and compartments like this and i can put whatever i want into this section now this one is called the light and they actually have a larger one and it's pretty much the same size but the difference is that this whole side on both sides is also velcro and it's completely modular so you can totally customize your bag now a couple things that i was worried about is you know it's velcro right there so will dirt and grime get in this and make it less sticky you know possibly but i don't think golf bags are one of those things that you abuse like you do say camping gear so i'm not too worried about that also it comes in a variety of colors black gray and then this arctic white and i thought this looked pretty smart and I wanted to get this. You can see that it's a really nice nylon. It looks almost like a camping gear. It's got a kind of a cool diamond pattern on it. Um, I actually wanted this for one particular reason, and that's because this is the Peter Von Panda channel and the Panda Research Institute, and I thought this kind of looked like panda colors. And I'm actually got some head covers and stuff like that that are panda now, so I thought, you know, why not just color coordinate? Everything about this golf bag seems to be as good as any other golf bag I've ever tried. And I do want to show you kind of some of the standard features. First of all, as you can see, this is meant to be a carrying bag you do have the legs right there you have the foot which goes down so as I lean it forward it ejects the legs out there so it will stand on its own we have this mesh up here six compartments for different clubs we have a horizontal handle right here which I have really grown to love whether you're pulling it out of your trunk of your car or lifting it up and carrying it it's actually sometimes a lot more comfortable than this handle down here but it does have a nylon handle which is wrapped with this padding and then the October golf gear handle right there we actually have two rings so we have a polymer ring on this side you can put your golf towel you have another ring like that on this side so you can hang other things your glove holder or your tea bag and all that kind of stuff so that's really really cool you also have backpack straps here so this is something you can throw over your shoulder you can see how they're nicely padded that mesh material under there has the october golf gear logo right there which is really cool it certainly is adjustable so that's pretty nice and then on this side which is the side that would be up against your back we also have this breathable mesh on this side so you don't have to worry about something you know poking you in the back a pocket right there so that's pretty nice now we do have some pockets down here what i actually like is the big pocket has this hole so it's venting and so if you put in something there like i don't know your shoes or something wet you know it will vent out and not necessarily trap things in there so you have this big pocket down here you have another pocket right here that goes all the way to the bottom you have a pocket right here that goes down to the top of this pocket and then you have a little pocket right up here and this goes down oh just about uh, right here so you can definitely put some stuff in here car keys those types of things if you really want to now let's go to the other side here and what we have is the full length pocket right there and you can put pretty much anything in here maybe you know shoes balls towels a sweater if you want but we also have a little cover for the bag right here and you can see there are snaps that go on right up here so that's pretty cool so if you're out in the rain you're transporting them that type of thing you can put this right on the top there and it will cover your clubs up which is a pretty nice feature to be included 
We also have a pocket right up here. This is pretty good. It goes down to right about here. This is actually probably pretty good for your valuables. If you want to put your car keys, your wallet, your phone in there, it seems like that's a really good pocket for that. The October Golf Gear logo embroidered on the side here. So lots of advertising. What you can see here is that there is a little bit of this like rubber molding around this zipper. So I think these zippers are kind of waterproof, which is nice. This pocket goes down to about here. And then we have another pocket down here, which kind of finishes out the bottom. So you get all of your standard pockets, which is really nice. I just think everything about this looks as good as any other golf bag. And we'll talk about value at the end. But the real money shot is this side that is modular. And this is everything that it comes with. So when you order it, you get the kit and it comes with these three pockets. And as you can see, they're a pretty good fit. Now I'm also going to talk about measurements and size because obviously it's not the biggest panel ever so you can only put a few things on here but I want to show you how you can accessorize this now what you get here by default is this this little pocket right here has a Bluetooth speaker in it which is kind of amazing because you know small Bluetooth speakers are kind of expensive themselves and so you can pair this to your phone listen to some tunes so you get this included it's not just a speaker bag you get the speaker with it so it says october golf gear right there little bluetooth that runs on batteries you have an opening here so that you can play your tunes which is kind of nice now i don't really listen to tunes while i'm on the golf course you do get the required cords for them uh, but that's pretty small and then down here what we have is the small pocket so you can see it's only maybe about six inches tall five or six inches you can open it up like this you can get right in there. It's just kind of a standard pocket. It has a little bit of a taper kind of back to front there. And what we have down here is the medium pocket. You can see it's two-tone, but we can open this up. And again, just the same style, but just pretty large. You could actually put your three pack of golf balls in here. You could probably get like nine of them in there is my guess. Now, again, what I was talking about is that these are all modular. So to get these off, you just lift them up by the bottom and then lift the J hook out. Now on this one, there's only one little hook. Now this one only has one little hook on it. You can see what it looks like. It's kind of a little plastic claw. Now the larger pockets will have a couple of hooks on them. So you just lift it up like this and pull it out. I do like the fact that there are two ways that this attaches. So, you know, you don't have to worry about your bag getting jarred and these coming off. And I want to show you that this bottom one will come off like this too. Now I will tell you that this bottom bag was hanging off the bottom just a little bit. So you don't necessarily need the attachment to stop right there. You know, you've got some extra room down here if you don't have something that's an exact match. Now I want to show you some of these other accessories that I got and why I want to accessorize mine the way I'm going to. So I bought four additional bags and what I want to show you here is the first one that I was talking about. This one is a little cooler bag and so I can put four cans of pop, kind of your four typical aluminum cans in there. You know, you've got a little cooler icon embroidered on the bottom here. You've got a pocket on the front if you want to put something there. But then as we open this up, what you can see here is it has a little bit of that waterproof insulated lining. So if I put four cans of my favorite drink in here, a couple of water bottles, those types of things, it'll help keep it cool. You can certainly throw an ice pack in there. You don't have to worry about it leaking out. Again, the whole back here is covered in that Velcro and we have a couple of those J hooks right there. So obviously I want to use this. This is really the reason I picked this up and I want to put it on the bottom where it can be accessible but also put the weight towards the bottom of the bag. Now, I do want to give you some measurements here. The measurement of the Velcro area on the back is actually 17 and a half inches top to bottom. So that's kind of the area that you're going to be dealing with. Now, if I measure the back of this cooler bag, what well, we have eight and a half inches long. And like I said, if I can't line it up exactly with the bottom, no big deal. I want to find the slots that make sense. And I think the second row of slots are going to make sense. So I'm going to go ahead and slide the two J hooks in these slots, push them all the way down, and then just rotate the bottom down. Now I have my cooler bag attached. All right, there is the first piece. Now, the second piece that was important to me is my sunglasses. So when I go out and I'm golfing, I like being able to throw on my sunglasses. I never have a good place to put them. I usually leave them in the car or something like that. But this little bag here is for sunglasses. So again, I was able to customize this exactly to myself. It's a hard-sided case. You can see Velcro backing, J-hooks right there. But when I open this up, it actually has a foam insert where I can put my sunglasses. And there's even a slot back here where I could put something else, you know, maybe my wallet or whatever. There's a little webbing here so it won't open up all the way. I don't have to worry about things falling out, you know. You, know, you could probably use this for your other things too, car keys if you really needed to, if you didn't have sunglasses but it's nice because now I can put the sunglasses that I use for golf specifically with my golf bag. So I know that I always have them. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this up. And I want to show you here too, what the dimension is for here, because this is about four and a half inches top to bottom. So I want this to be readily accessible. So I'm going to put this at the very top here, slide the J hooks in here, and then just rotate it down. Now what we have here is a fairly small opening left over. 
And in terms of overall dimensions, we have just about five and a half inches. So, so I want to show you a couple of the other bags that I bought. Now, this one is called the large pocket. Again, we had the small that was included and the medium. And this is the large pocket. Again, it's just a slight taper to it. But if you open this up, you can see that there's plenty of space in here for golf balls, tees, and the like. And again, uh, top to bottom, it's pretty large. Again, you're going to need about eight and a half inches of real estate on your golf bag to fit this. I don't really take flasks with me on the golf course that often, but this one is a flask carrier. And you can see what it has here is a magnetic flap. You can get it quickly and put it away easily. And the inside here will hold, looks like a full size flask. And that's pretty nice. And the dimensions on this little bad boy, top to bottom are about seven inches. Now we only have about five and a half inches. So what I'm going to actually have to use is the small bag that came with it, because that's about the only thing that will fit here. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this one in. Now what I have here are three pockets, my sunglasses case and my cooler case, which is what I really wanted, as well as an additional pocket on this side so I can have tees or my golf balls and things like that at the ready. And you can see the bag flexes enough that I can open this up, even though these pockets are touching each other, you know, I should have no problem being able to get a drink out of here just like that. And again, get sunglasses, you know, things like that. So the nice thing about this is this is a golf bag that you can really customize for your actual needs and desires when you're on the golf course. Now, I have seen a lot of golf bags out there, but I've never really seen pockets dedicated to specific tasks. And this one, you can do that with any of these add-on accessories. And these weren't the only ones, but they're the ones I really wanted. So now I've got my bag set up the way I want it. I can have my drink, I can have my sunglasses on the golf course. And the best thing about this is it's an incredible value. So I'm just telling you, when you go out and buy a golf bag, it can easily be $100 200 dollars even cheap golf bags by no name brand companies at Costco are 80 or 90 dollars. This golf bag in this kit, in the light kit here, was a hundred dollars and you got those three pockets and it was a hundred dollars i think it's 129 retail but on their website they were 100 bucks so it was a no-brainer to get it because it was you know ten dollars more than the cheapest golf bags i could find then when you ordered these little accessories here with it each of these were like nine or ten bucks so it's really inexpensive to add on the components that you want now you have to be aware that you have limited real estate if you get the full golf bag with the velcro all the way up the sides you can also then just kind of get any pocket pockets you want and just kit this thing out to your spec. But for me, you know, this way I have the features that I want on it. I have it in this beautiful panda color scheme and I didn't spend any more on this than I would have on any cheap golf bag. So I'm just really impressed with everything you get here. I think it's one of the best kept secrets in the golf world and I would not hesitate to pick this up again. October golf gear. I really, really love this golf bag. If you want to pick it up, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda out.